everybody. It's very nice to be able to do this. Um, this is a devotion that I have prepared. Um, my name is Fiona Brown and I am a missionary in South Africa. Um, I am going to be talking about God's provision for this um, devotion. Excuse me if I keep looking down, it's because I have notes down there. Right, so the dictionary says that provision is the act of providing for or supplying something for use. Now the Bible says that God is a giving um, a giving God that he um, provides for us. I'm going to tell you a few verses there just to clarify what I'm saying. So in Psalm 34 verse 8 to 10 it says taste and see that the Lord our God is good. How blessed and fortunate, how prosper, uh, prosperous and favoured by God is the man who takes refuge in him. Who re oh, reverently fear the Lord, you his saints, believers and holy ones. For those who fear him, there is no want. The young lions lack and grow hungry, but they who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. In Psalm 84 and verse 11, it says, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows grace, favour and honour, and no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Father God provides for us in many ways, many, many ways. Some we recognise and are familiar with, and others uh, we take for granted. When I think of the provision of God, one of the first things that comes to my mind is the area of finances. Being a missionary <laughs> and relying on other people to support me. Um, but this is because um, this is because that's where I've experienced God's faithfulness and His provision in sometimes really amazing ways. He comes through for me. What is the first thing that comes to your mind, I wonder, when I mention provision of God? What is the first thing that you think of? There are other things that maybe we take for granted, like the air that we breathe. God provides that. He's a provider of the air that we breathe. The weather, um, water. We're in a drought right now in South Africa, so water is very precious, has become very, very precious. Um, and we don't take it for granted as much. Food. Take for granted the food, shelter, our house, the place where, where we live. Um, our family. We take for granted that our, our family are there. Some people. Resources, the things that we have around us. From the beginning of time, God has been providing for us. So he provided in creation, he provided light and all the things that he made on the, the days of creation. We know the story so well of the days of creation, the first day, the second day, the third day. I don't know if anyone, anyone can say them. I think I forget which order they came in, but we get the idea. Um, God created Adam. And he provided breath for Adam. He breathed his breath into Adam. He provided animals and plants for Adam to eat um, and the garden for him to tend. He provided a helper for Adam in Eve. He provided boundaries and rules for them in the, in the garden. And also he provided free choice, free will, his free will. And when they messed up, when Eve messed up, when Adam messed up, when they took the fruit that they weren't supposed to, um, he provided. Okay, so he provided a covering after they'd messed up. Um, he also provided consequences. Um, there were consequences for this. 
also. And the list goes on and on through the generations and through the Old Testament. We see many times that God provides. He provides for the Israelites. He provides for his people. We see God is a giving and a providing God. All through time, he provides what is needed, including when we mess up. He provides solutions if we repent and if we bring it to him and say we're sorry and we turn around from the things that we've done. He gives us solutions. This goes on and on. We see God is a giving and providing God. All through time, he provides what is needed, including when we mess up. He provides solutions. If we repent and we bring it to him, and he will help us with the solutions. Let's look at Matthew. Matthew 1, verse 18 to 21. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother... Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. He said, Joseph, Descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. And he, he, she will have a son, and his name will be Jesus, because he will save the people from their sins. So, the greatest of all the gifts and everything that God provides for us is Jesus. We celebrate Christmas and we celebrate when the Father provided the opportunity for us to be reconciled back to himself. He gave his one and only Son who left his throne in glory, who left heaven and became a baby and was born to a virgin, Mary. His only son, he provided, with his only son, he provided a way for us to be reconciled back to himself. Our saviour, Jesus Christ. And that is what we celebrate at this Christmas time. And that is why we celebrate. That's why there's so much joy in this season. Because Jesus was born of Mary and he is our saviour. And so let's just, he came, he, yeah, let's just, let's just close our eyes and pray, shall we? Sorry, I got tongue-tied then. <laughs> Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the gift that you gave, the provision that you made for us to be reconciled back to yourself. When we went astray, when we turned to our own ways, Father, I thank you that you provided a way. Even before time began, you already had a plan. Because we are so loved and we're so precious to you, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord that you made the way and that we can celebrate what you did this Christmas time. We give you glory and honour and we thank you for everything that you do for us, for everything that you provide for us, for every single way that you provide for us, Jesus. We are so thankful, Father. We are so thankful, Holy Spirit. And we give you glory and honour and we thank you for this day in Jesus' name. Amen. So thanks for that. I'm sorry that it was a little bit out there. <laughs> but happy, have a really, really happy Christmas. Um, I know I'm going to try and do that. <laughs> it's very difficult being away from my family. But 
we are together in spirit. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this little devotion. Happy Christmas and have a blessed new year.